Okay, this is a tool and cutter grinder. It's got a diamond cup wheel on this end for grinding carbide. It's got an aluminum oxide wheel over here for grinding steel. But all together it creates a terrible, terrible abrasive mess. So to have precision machines right next to it, you have to take some basic precautions. And it's very easy. You take a brush, you go like that, knock those chips back. <laughs> oh, that's so hard. So terrible. Then, you take a rag. I use two rags. This one's kind of extra dirty and oily. And I wipe that down, see? Just like that. And you can see that it's nicely covered back here. So we don't have to worry about much there. So we're going to wipe that down. We're going to get back here and we're going to wipe it down here too. See? Reach back. Do a reach around there. Give her a reach around. Just like that. Then we can move the carriage forward. On clean ways. <laughs> I can't believe I have to show this. Okay, it's like everybody has such a clean shop. There's not a grinder within 50 feet. And if you don't think you're getting grinder dust on your machine, if you got a grinder 50 feet away, you are mistaken. So I wiped off the cross slide there. You can see how well this Axelson oils up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I got another rag here. This is my kerosene rag. And I do it again. Just give it a wipe. Just like that, see? Okay. <laughs> we'll go over and have a look at that Monarch 10 E and see if the ways are all scratched up. We'll do that later. But in the meantime, <laughs> I overoiled this thing. I just started using it. Yeah. Looks okay. Looks good, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to set up and cut a thread here. Right back.